There have been seven mass shootings in North Carolina this year alone, and that's one of the reasons gun safety was a big focus at the legislature today for Democrats taking a live look now, where on the other hand, the GOP led Judiciary Committee, they passed a bill that would loosen gun restrictions. WRAL's Chelsea Donovan explains. <laughs> Last night at the State of the State address, Governor Cooper addressed how death by gunfire has surpassed car crashes as the number one cause of injury deaths for children. Today, Democrats introduce ways to combat that. 45,222 people died from firearm violence last year. Half of the deaths were suicide. One of those victims, Mary Marshall, Rob Steele's fiance. She just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Four others died in the Headingham mass shooting last October. We saw firsthand the damage that can be done when the wrong people have access to firearms. Today, Steele told Democratic leaders at the General Assembly that he red flagged himself that night. If I had had my gun, I might have made a dumb decision. And this happens all the time. This would allow a judge to hear evidence from someone who can testify that someone they know is having a mental health issue or is violent or is at risk of suicide. Representative Marsha Mori, who represents Durham, spoke on House Bill 281, the red flag law that would temporarily restrict a person's access to a gun if they are a danger to themselves or others. For two decades, I had to tell a mother how her son, how their father, how their loved one died because of gun violence. Three other bills were introduced designed to reduce gun violence deaths across the state. Just this year, North Carolina has had seven mass shootings. One of those bills, known as the Gun Violence Prevention Act, would require authorization in a waiting period to purchase an assault weapon or a long gun. Meanwhile, the Republican-led House Judiciary Committee met this afternoon and passed a bill that would make it easier for people to buy guns and carry concealed weapons into more places like schools and churches. The motion is adopted and the committee meeting is adjourned. That bill would also allow people to buy pistols without a background check. Chelsea Donovan, WRL News, Raleigh.